What? Of course. Right. Okay. I did. I, I had no idea those guys were ever th were there. Actually, I'm a little bit taken aback. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. We didn't loot you, did we? Potion of hill giant strength and some gold. Fair enough. What about you two? Some gold. Some ooh, magic arrows. Some magic studded leather. Some la magic leather armor. Some magic darts. Oil of fiery burning. Magic blocking. A scimitar of some description. Um. Wow, lots of magical stuff then. Make it quick. Okie doke. Well, I'm glad I searched them. Right, now, let's go back to flipping Nashkel. And get him when resurrected. Because that's going to be Marcus's first priority right now, I think. And apparently, we can go to Durlag's Tower. Because uh, that's near here. Apparently, but we're not going there. So anyway, I don't even know what the Dirtlegs Tower is, frankly. Um, maybe we'll explore it at some point. But anyway, we're going to Nashville straight there. Uh, any further fuss? Because yeah, um, resurrecting him is going to be Marcus's top priority right now. It's the only thing he's really concerned about. As irritating as she might be, she is, as she quite rightly pointed out at the very beginning of this Let's Play. His oldest and dearest friend. So. Oh yeah, and we also want to talk to the mayor, wherever he is. Here he is. We did your quest. You have returned! It would seem I was right to trust you. The town thanks you wholeheartedly and is pleased to give you the proper reward. Please take this 900 gold for your efforts. It's a small fortune by anyone's standards. Thank you again. There is no need for gratitude, Baron. Helping you was our duty, and as, as you well know, despite my nagging doubts, Marcus did much, did well, much better than I expected. Why, he certainly did, young Marcus. Here is a true hero of Nashville. Mark this young man well, Mayor. I sense tis not the last good deed of thou his of his thou art here of. That's good to hear. Thanks for speaking on my behalf, Perhaps everyone. Not quite as much help as I thought. Dear me, I have a voice of my own, you know. Blasting damn you all. <laughs> anyway. He thinks Dinah here and uh, Jahira are making a, a waste of my a horrendous team. Ah, intrepid adventurers at our door. Helm guards over all the realms, and his servants are at your disposal. The vigilant one stands ready to mend thy ailments, and so divert the unyielding gaze of the great guide for a suitable donation, of course. Just to demonstrate our must mutual goodwill, you understand. Helm watch over you and our poor lost brother Brag. Oh, yeah, still, people are still. Concerned about break, apparently. The finer captain of the guard could never be found this side of arm. Such a strange charge, uh, sort of change, sorry, uh, for one so devout as he. One does not usually change so drastically without nefarious help. If there be an evil, an evil influence on him, perhaps the harsh justice of the military should be stayed. He'll find no quarter with the garrison, but if he came to the temple, well, his restitution might not need, need not be his life. If there is anything I is there anything I can help you with? Yes, there is. Resurrection or raise dead. Resurrection. Why not? Oh, he could probably watch over thee upon thy quest. identify our stuff while we're here, actually. That's convenient. That's expensive, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, what did we get? Ring of Holiness. Honorary Ring of Sune, apparently. Rings of this type were given to faithful priests of Sune who demonstrated actions of astounding integrity and kindness. Grants an extra spell of each level from the first to fourth. From level. Each level from first to fourth, only usable by clerics and druids. Oh, okay. Um, that could be useful. Boots of Grounding. Talos Gift. Untold years ago, the fortress of the Star Spire Peninsula was placed under the direct torment of Talos when it, when a favoured Storm Herald was murdered there. Uh, Talos promised the destruction of the city by earthquakes, its isolation by tidal waves, and the death of its citizens by storms. One pair of these boots was bestowed to ensure that none but a single man would survive to tell the story of his wrath. 
Later, travellers seeking fortune in the ruined city came upon an aged man, maddened by the continuous destruction around him. The boots he wore could carry would carry to many a distant land the legend of a city consumed by a god's rage. Yeah, oh, it gives us plus 50% electricity resistance, apparently. That's very, very situational, that is. I think I might just sell those. Um, the scimitar, or shamshi, as, as it was originally called, as a single edge blade with a significant curve, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, looks like it's just a scimitar plus one, and... Ah, fire arrow. And studded leather armor. That's magical, study leather armor plus one or something, probably, and same goes for the leather. Alright, yeah, leather armor plus two, and... Yeah. I see. Oh, and, uh... A poison dart. As well. Interesting. Have we got anything else that we could identify? Yeah, we do have the short sword. Well, I'd better do that, then. Okay, it's a short sword plus one, thought so. Right, well, um, leather armor plus two, huh? That's like compared to this, not quite as good. What about this? Studded leather plus one. Again, not quite as good. I think I might give the studded leather plus one to Imowin, though. Also, we need to give her the rest of her stuff back as well. <laughs> um, yeah, have your dagger and your arrows. And your short bow, and was there anything else? Yeah, your, your wand and your strange artifact as well. You can keep that. We don't really need the studded leather armor anymore. Probably sell it. Um, right, yeah, okay. Quick item slot. There we go. That, and that, and that. There we are. Right as rain, Imwin. As if nothing yes, had ever happened. Of course. I can't remember exactly what it was that killed her now. I think it might have been one of those flame arrows from the Amazons. We've It's Amazon assassins that we encountered. Whew, they no were a tougher fight than Muller, hey? Actually, you know what? Having just mentioned that fight, off comes the armor. Yeah. Do we still have the braces on? Good. Yeah, we do. Um, what? Yes. Oh, that's a good point. I should remember to not have my armor Make on all quick. the time because it means I can't cast these. Yes. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let's uh, go to the store, I suppose. Sell all this junk. Apart from the ancake shell, I'm probably gonna have to take that all the way to uh, Berigost. Yeah, business has been poor, but with the iron shortage and all. Right. Doki, right, the Ring of Holiness. Wow, 5,000 gold! No, I'm going to keep that, it's way too useful. Boots to grounding can go, though, as can the Scimitar plus one. And, uh, it's Leather Armor plus two as well. And the Dart of Wounding. 11,000 gold! Amazing! I'm seriously pleased about that. Right, these. Can all go as well. And that. And that. And this. And uh, yeah, the armor, the intravision. And those, I suppose, because we can't teach them. There we go. I mean, I could have kept him as extra scrolls, which maybe I should have done, but never mind. It's too late now. 11,854 gold. I am mighty pleased with that. I don't mind saying. What? A waste of my wow. talents. Lots of money. Loads of money, mate. Well, what do we do with it, though? That's the question, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose. Well, let's head over to the inn here, because we could do with the. Oh, what the. Oh. Oh, dear. I am death come for thee. Surrender, and thy passage shall be quicker. What? I'm not surrendering to anyone. Or anything, even. Struggle if you must, dead one. I do not mind working for... Oh, God, another assassin, really? Why Nimble has been hired to deal with the likes of you, I'll never know. Uh, Make it quick. Mm. Of 
course. I wonder if I can just put him to sleep. That would amuse me. No, you apparently not. You point. I you point. Yes. I punch. Right, just attack him ordinarily. Can I help you back Oh right, yeah, you're out of magic missiles, aren't you? Oops. <laughs> you're a queer fellow. You better use that then. <laughs> you're a no, queer no, no. fellow. Use this. Marcus, you can offensive spin, I suppose. Sometime today would be nice. There we go. Whoa! Okay, he cast horror on us. And everybody is panicking, but we actually did manage to kill him, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I've never had that happen before, precisely. Uh... Yeah, thanks, everybody. Make it quick. You'll get back over here now, please. Good grief. <laughs> We've killed him, now everyone scatter! <laughs> everyone run away! Oh dear. Right, what did he have? Oh, more magical crap. Wonderful. Well, I suppose I won't complain. And another letter. Don't worry, we'll go through all these letters and stuff we've picked up very soon. Uh, I just want to get all this nonsense, like selling things out of, of the way first. Business has been poor with the iron shortage. Identify my stuff. Alright, what have we got? <sighs> Ring of Improvision. Oh, lovely. A short sword plus one. And. Boots of Avoidance. Senses of the cat. These, the magic of these boots was specifically designed to detect incoming missiles and aid the wearer in avoiding them. They were originally commissioned by the instructor of an archery academy who had tired of suffering accidents at the hands of his inexperienced students. Armor class value plus five versus missile weapons. That's pretty cool. You know what? Since Imowen yes. was taken out by a flaming arrow last time, what I think I might do is I'll give her the girdle of piercing and, well, I don't know, it depends how much you can, we can sell these for. No just said than done. right. Uh, well, 1,250 last bit. It's kind of spare cash as far as we're concerned now with our 11 grand, but how about this? Oh yeah, that, that can go. Um, that can also go. Now yeah, I guess we'll keep those, and I will give them to Imowen. So she can wear that and the girdle of piercing. So she should now, in theory at least, be very, 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 very resistant to missile weapons. Also, she's got the studded leather armor plus one, which is nice too. So, right, and now to the inn where we shall rest. And Let's talk more what the hell was that? What? Random magical noises. Anyway, um, we should probably go rest. Really? Probably go rest. Honestly. Seems like the best idea to be. Actually, no. I've had a better idea. I think. We have my talents. No, sorry. Marcus is going to have a drink because we. I think. We, I think we've. Everybody's earned earned a good drink by this point. So. Oh, thank goodness they do have blood wine at least. Beware the woods to the west, friend, for I hear tell of ogres and madmen. Oh dear. Uh, have a couple of glasses, why not? Minsk. Stout ale for you, sir. Cleed. Bit of black ale. Mead. Mead. Mm, Diner here probably drinks wine. I don't know. Honestly, really, she just strikes me as someone who would drink wine. Um, oh my goodness, look at that. Money! Look at it! Twelve grand. Oh. Anyway. Look, c calm yourself, dear. We must proceed c c carefully. You know, down here, I like Minsk very much. I trust him. His heart is true and his, and leads him rightly. But, but, thou would say, with Minsk now, there is always but. <laughs> Yes, I am surprised by his ability to function as a ranger, still. I mean, I'd always understood that a fairly high level of comprehension was needed for that. Perhaps thou should consult his companion 
for aught I can tell, his skills have entered his sinew and bones, functioning there without a mind to guide. I asked Jahira whether she thought Boo would possibly be what Minsk believes him to be. In her opinion, Boo is an ordinary rodent. Has thou thought otherwise? I wondered. But if Minsk can function by believing in Boo, it means that his mind is not lost. He just perceives it as separate from himself. Now. Perhaps then his healing is not out of the question. I do not know the answer to that. I am not trained so. I do not know that... Uh, do not know that it hath not been attempted. Minsk received his hurt, and then I was taken. Thou know of us since that time. And now we race the threat of war and have no time. Still, all this must end. I will speak to Marcus about it then. Injury, pain, should be redressed if it may be. Hmm. What? Well, I think, in the meantime... I think this lot can kind of gather over at the bar for a bit. Marcus, on the other hand, he's going to go head off into the corner by himself for a while. Maybe yeah, find a seat by the fire, actually. That seems like a sensible thing to do. And um, study some of the letters we've picked up, because we've got quite a few. We've not read them yet. So, this is Garion's scroll, right? Okay. Um... I really, really need a scroll bag, don't I? <laughs> this is one of the bounty notices. 300 gold. Uh, that's one of the letters. That's Those are the two letters, okay. And this is another bounty notice with uh, a bounty of 600 gold. So, our bounty's increased twofold ever since the last one. So, that's interesting to know. Oh, those are those fire arrows. I will... Oh, no. I will keep them for emergencies and such. In any case, um, now which? Ah, hello. Now this is ah, this is the letter that was being carried by the assassin Nimble, who we just met outside. Um, so we'll read that as well. Hang on a minute. We appear to be missing a letter. Oh dear. That's not good. I'm missing a letter. I think I might have left one in the chest by accident. Oh dear. I bet they've got a lot of comments. <laughs> Never mind. I think we may only need the one. As far as the story is concerned, anyway. Uh, my servant Mullahay. Your progress in disrupting the flow of iron ore does not go as well as it should. How stupid can you be to allow your kobolds to murder the miners? With your presence revealed, you should be wary of enemies sent to stop your operation. Your task is a very simple one. If you continue to show that you can't do the job, you will be replaced. I will not send the kobolds you have requested, as I need all the troops I possess to stop the flow of iron into this region. With this message, I have sent more of the mineral poison that you require. If you have any problems, then send a message to my new contact in Beragost. His name is Transig, and he'll be staying at Felderpost's Inn. So, we have a lead! We have a place to go. We need to head to Beragost and find this Transig fellow, by the looks of things. So here's the letter that Nimble was carrying, in addition to his bounty letter. Nimble! The money you have received from Transig should cover your usual fee. Your assignment is a difficult one, but I'm sure that you are up to the task. There is a group of mercenaries who should be coming through Nashkel in the next few days. They are led by a whelp named Marcus. You are to kill Marcus and all that travel with him. I warn you, they might not look like much, but they are very dangerous. Good hunting. Tazok. So not only do we have a lead in the form of this Transig fellow, it seems, for now at least, that the the true master mastermind behind this uh, intriguing plot that's unfolding before us is Tazok, whoever the hell Tazok actually is. Interesting. The plot thickens, does it not? Right. Well, in the meantime, while well, Marcus is off there reading, I think Imwin uh, sneaks off to the back of the inn for a little bit. Uh, to have a sort of a bit of a poke around in some of the rooms while she's got the chance. She hasn't done so since uh, the Friendly Arm Inn, and since then, her uh, her thieving abilities have actually increased quite a bit, especially in terms of her lockpicking abilities. 
as you can see.